Hello and welcome to my first, or our, even first such video which is intended to complement my Facebook page, uh, which is called uh, What's Gonna Kill Us First, uh, which isn't intended to uh, dwell on negatives but to explore just how the human race will survive the range of crises that are heading our way. Uh, and I'm not disregarding the urgent issues affecting all of the other species that we share the planet with, but all solutions will obviously have to come from the humans, although we uh, um, we can certainly learn from nature in the process of doing so. Um, it would also make sense for me to, uh, to have vids in some sort of order of preference, but that's never going to work when you're bipolar. Uh, you may as well play whack-a-mole. Um, I thought I was uh, first going to be uh, introducing what I've been calling automated transport networks that would greatly improve efficiency at the road level to uh, generate uh, large and tangible improvements in CO2 emissions. Uh, I had looked for other work in the field but I didn't use the uh, keywords uh, smart cities which would have shown me that smart tech is being devised and built to create such networks such as in uh, Taipei in Taiwan, Palo Alto in California and I think maybe maybe uh, Warsaw and Dubai have uh, stuff in the works as well. Um, I was going to spend some time looking at how the hell the uh, the data would be managed and filtered, streamed, analysed on a, a massive scale in real time. But it looks like IOTA uh, blockchain cryptocurrency would be handling that. And IOTA, that's uh, it's uh, Internet of Things, is it algorithms or uh, or whatever uh, the uh, the A st stands for that we're handling that at least in those cities I just mentioned but no anyway I, uh, today I'm instead talking about the US Democrat Democrats including uh, Bernie Sanders and Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez and uh, environmentalist Bill McKibben well, uh, just to add a, a balanced note of fairness here yeah I'm sorry to interrupt you uh, the policies that you're talking about are before Ms Cortez was elected it's what she's supporting now. Her office support, yeah, supports. Yeah, you can name any, any yeah, bunch well, of Democrats. Well, really. well, yes, but I'm. Uh, That's just the most well-known Democrat right it, now. It, it, it relates to this uh, a, a particular piece which I found in uh, in, in Forbes, in, which had been uh, shared by a fr by, by uh, uh, a friend of of, of mine, and it, um, and it's well, um, uh, Alexandra Ocasio Cortez or a a AOC. She's a Democratic Congresswoman from New York. But Bill McKibben and Bernie Sanders are from Vermont, and some some of the the stats from it relate specifically to uh, to that. But but but, but you might be right that uh, AOC's face is uh, is, is, so, is, is, is so popular to associate it. But but she is personally her office is, is, is endorsing the the Green New Deal, and uh, and, and and I'll come to. Uh, I'll come to, uh, to, to to the reason for mentioning that to to, uh, to my mind that's so, so it's so important is that uh, well yeah they they're, they're presenting the green new deal as some sort of energy roadmap and it's particularly important uh, that it doesn't mention nuclear power and that's important because there's no way any energy mix can meet the demands for power while simultaneously bringing emissions down to an acceptable level without nuclear power unless you live in Button which is a different joke entirely. Or, or nipple. Uh, or, uh, or indeed nipple. Um, no, let, uh, but let's, uh, let's look not at the United States now, but, uh, well, Germany, but, uh, partly, for, and uh, Japan. But um, uh, as a nation, Germany freaked out over Fukushima. It's identified that nuclear was dangerous and that theirs should be phased out as, as soon as possible. And what they didn't see was another nuclear power station in Japan called uh, uh, Onagawa, which, despite being closer to the epicenter of the massive, massive earthquake, um, it suffered very little damage because it had been built to a higher standard, slightly higher in, in, in height above sea level, and had a seawall that performed admirably. Uh, the local town of Onagawa uh, was largely destroyed, but the power station stood strong. And what led to the disaster at uh, Fukushima Daiichi was that the admittedly insufficient backup diesel generators were kept in a basement that flooded. And just like Chernobyl, it came down to incompetence and not about a sudden raised inherent risk of nuclear power itself. And as a direct consequence of uh, Fukushima, 
Many reactors around the world gain better seawall defences where applicable and better generators uh, being, in, uh, being installed up and out of uh, flood risk. Uh, um, I think one of these was Duke Energy's Brunswick plant in North Carolina and it made the news because, oh my God, it was in the path of Hurricane Florence. So that's interesting right there. Nuclear was, the on was only news because of how it might be affected by a massive weather event. Uh, once the flood waters receded, and staff could again gain access to the site from the outside, the media was no longer interested in the story, uh, except for S&P Global. Uh, cheers, guys. Um, meanwhile, uh, Germany, which I did start off uh, speaking about, uh, isn't known for its exposure to tsunamis, uh, but it decided to invest massively in uh, renewables, and I think solar in particular, uh, but they lack the storage backup, and this is probably where I, my argument might might be, uh, you know, if if someone wants want, wants to re, wants to, uh, to 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 rebound it against I'll, me, I'll, it, I'll might, it, it might be on the subject of yeah, of, of of storage. Out the power. Yes, yes, but uh, but but but, but, but I'm still talking about Germany and German and German emissions, and and, and it still la still largely applies. Um, that but that, that um that um now uh, much of the solar potential is unusable. Uh, uh, down, down to the lack of uh, uh, storage and uh, not to match, mention its intermittence and rather than reconsidering the role of nuclear they plump for uh, Old Faithful to, to plug the gap which is dirty old brown lignite and suddenly the, the shiny uh, public transport no longer looks so clean I've got a cat, hello um, uh, German, emi uh, German emissions are now significantly higher proportionately uh, to that of France where nuclear makes up around 75% uh, of the portfolio. Oh, and their, um, the big uh, coal mine can be seen from space. It's that big uh, pale brown thing about 20 kilometers west of uh, Cologne. Uh, oops. So, um, uh, nuclear provides concentrated energy, unlike solar and wind, for example. Uh, power without the need for a constant stream of fuel, unlike many millions of tonnes of coal arriving on trains or pipelines for oil and gas or even biomass fuel. Uh, power, 365 days a year, 24 hours per day, possibly for, for decades without requiring uh, 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 maintenance or whatever. Um, power without CO2 emissions uh, once installed um, and without any of the dangerous particulates generated by diesel cars coal power stations or jet planes um, uh, fewer five, fewer deaths per kilowatt hour and uh, lower environmental impact than any other form of energy yes nuclear power has had some spectacular fails but even they fail to add up to much when you compare it to other forms of power generation um, and the, the figures certainly to, to back that up uh, finally nuclear power enables vision with major expansion of today's nuclear we can not only nail the energy without co2 problem but we can also do uh, so much more and i'll be coming back to this in another video but back to uh, to, to the uh, the reason for for, for, for the uh, for this show was that um, according to a forbes article that my friend gabriel shared the state of vermont which is you know bernie sanders land uh, has been amongst the top five states for what it calls aggressive action on energy efficiency. In 2005, Vermont legislators promised to reduce emissions um, by 25% below 1990 levels by 2012, which is obviously seven years ago, and 50% by 2028, which is nine years from now, through the use only of renewables and energy efficiency. So what's happened since? Well, Vermont's emissions have risen by 16.3%. That's more than twice as much as national emissions rose during the same peri period. And when you account for the US's far faster growth in population, Vermont's per capita emissions rose 5%, while US per capita emissions declined by 17%. So what kind of new Green Deal is this? C CO2 emission reduction must be the key driver. I mean, what planet are they on? The problem, uh, the, the problem is nuclear, or the problems with not having nuclear. Now, who's going to be the one to tell them, and how do you make them listen? And uh, well, I'd like to uh, to thank uh, Zach for for, for the uh, the making of this video. Alex was here earlier, 
but he's uh, he, it's all a bit late now. What's in the, what's the name of the cat? Pudding. 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 Right. Pudgy. Just P U D D I M. Right. Oh, oh, put, oh, 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 I think because Pudding's name has been mentioned there, uh, she's she's back again. Yeah. Uh, um, yes. So, so I'd like to thank Zach uh, Pudding, and uh, we'll get this on to Uncle Doris and uh, perhaps Ranges. We'll see what uh, what happens next. If you enjoyed the video, great. Um, if not, you might wish to say why, or I don't know. Okay. Uh, so any feedback's nice. I'll just check this out with you. Um, so I'm going to invite comments. Yes. If you disagree, or yes. you agree, or whatever, or you have something else you want to add to that, please put it in the comments down below. Yeah. We will try and respond to those comments in a video. Like in the next video, we'll read out some comments from the previous video. Yeah. Well, like like like's done in the um, the Corbett report, which yeah. I really really like. Also, this show might actually go to a point where we can actually we've got the technology and the hookups to actually have people on the show from a remote location. Yeah, it can be done like a video call why not um, so what we'll do is we'll try and set that up if somebody wants to be on the show it's entirely opt-in we'll obviously have to organise it around people's time schedules because some people are on different sides of the planet but you know that's an option then that's yeah. what we're keeping open so if you desperately want to be on there that'll be for the spur for us to sort it out and set it up um, absolutely fucking lootly yeah um, so uh, we can swear on our channel yeah, I mean adults only. These these are views expressed no, by. No, it's not adults only. I definitely want kids to take an interest in what's going to happen to them. You know, I, 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 um, you know, if uh, if you've got a kid who's twenty or you know is uh, Alex's age, they're going to they're going to live to see forty. It's like you know we need to deal with these things. Yeah. Oh, I'm aware of that. The seriousness of these issues, and we will try and try and discuss serious stuff on this show. That's the point of it. Yes. But a. We, if if you remain serious about it, people are just going to get angry. You see, we've got to step back from it and go, look, what do we do? We've got to be focused. I mean, this is this is entirely church of server territory, really, right here. You know, so, so when when the machines are picking over the ruins of our civilization and they go, oh, and they left this recording, that it's somewhere. Yes. You know, they will just go, oh, a few people did try and figure it out and sort a few things out, and you know, this is where it starts. Maybe there's a, an avenue of of encouraging this that we haven't explored. It starts. It starts here for us. It, yeah. You know, other people have been on a. There's a lot of things that are kind of broken in the world, and we'll probably get people on that want to talk about capitalism. It might turn into a two-seat video thing. It might turn into a you know a, a sort of Skype conversation or a video chat or something. We might only be able to do voice. But as long as it's civil. But yeah, I mean, if we, you know, and we're, that's it. If, you know, if, we, if we have a if we have a guest who starts uh, starts shouting, ranting, or, 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 or whatever. Missing, and, is that I think we need to get everybody on board. Yes. And I think that some people that get involved in some very sort of like movements that are anti this or anti that that involve some hatred. And, you know, there's a chance that those people that are doing like violent acts on behalf of what they believe because they feel they're striking back at imperialism or whatever. Yes. We need those people too. It's just that we need to make everybody understand that you know the only way it's ever going to change is right. if the vast majority of people. Well, if uh, I think if the, forget their differences if, for an afternoon. If, if you've got then, any group of people who are behaving in you know, on mass in an, in, an, in such a negative fashion, yeah. it's, it, it's, it's disruptive to other people's lives. The best possible outcome. And of the and, and two groups and of protesters the, meeting each other. The envi and the environment. So, 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 so if you've got the, 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 um, they should be, the, the, they should all be arrested. Yeah, and then and then trained to go back and plant trees. If there's nothing else they're going to do of any use, yeah, just send, yeah, I mean, send that's, them out. That's a kind of utopian plant, but, yeah, ideal. Just give them give them a good job, yeah. But if, if give, somebody... give, give them a nice place to 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 uh, to, to, uh, to do it. Show them a different way of thinking. I'm not I'm I'm not saying I'm not, I'm not, say, I'm not saying response. Buddhist, but I'm saying more chilled out. I think once sometimes inside people, when they're really thinking about it, when they cross over that line and they maybe are racist. Or they cross over that line and become homophobic, like outwardly and publicly homophobic. I think once somebody's done that, they feel they could never go back despite having their mind changed. They can never climb down from it. And if we made the, the process of climbing down for it a lot less painful for yes. people, then a few more people might be willing to do it. Because I don't think people are racist all the time or homophobic yeah, all the time. Right. Well, I've got, or transphobic. Or, uh, I, can, I can say his name. Um, I've got my, my friend Mansour. He's a he's, he's a specialist at, um, at, at, at this, and uh, um, 
Well, and, I mean, and, that's ta a and, skill. and taking taking on people who might have a violent reaction to him and and his faith, he just calms them the hell down. Chills but, I mean, that they, would be the just, best possible outcome just, of two just, groups of protesters just draws, that didn't agree. Just draw, 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 draws the venom out, and he's just saying, "That's not how we live." Yeah. You know, where have you learned that from? Yeah, that's that, that doesn't represent us and stuff. And by by that single connection, because this person, uh, um, Pete, Dave, Mickey, or whatever, he uh, um, you know, because he's he's finally, finally 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 built up a relationship with just one Muslim, yeah, and he's just got 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 to understand that this is really really nice not really nice bloke. He's really chilled out, and he and, and he says, well, most Muslims are, and then and then you just lose your. Uh, Ability oh, to, uh, to 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 this is because nothing left to, to the rail against the, the causes of people worrying about people in their jobs, people worrying about their kids getting a decent education, people worrying about whether they're going to um, get treatment if they're ill. You know, those are pretty real fears if you live in a technological society. The second one should be the, the biggest. That you can't really the education, do houses, jobs, problems. education, health. You know, the things that everybody worries about, and we are divided by our worries about that. Yes, and they use that to break us apart, and then they blame certain sections of society for making things difficult. And so the people that aren't trying to make a profit off those industries are being told to, that they should be angry at each other, and that's a lie. Well, that's that lie is a uh, different. You know, and if somebody could explain that to say, we are going to talk some more a on group that. Group of fascists marching down the street. Your fears are our fears. The people causing them are none of us. We need to go and speak to them, the people that paid for you to all get here today, and the people that paid for some of us to get here today. We're both being played, and it's both lies. So why don't we really just go, right, no. Amongst ourselves, we find some people that want to be politicians, that we think we can trust, that are just mm. decent human beings. No, I, um, I, think, um, I don't think you, sh you, you should um, um, draw politicians from politicians if it, if, no I'm if, saying if, if, you don't you, you basically say you, you unite all the working class of this country and the people that do the actual work well that, that's that's a very complicated area and then you have them stand to, man, to, man, to manage that as a you single group you just replace group. it out of your movement to want decent treatment and everybody that joins the party says I promise I will try and provide the most decent treatment for the most number of people that we possibly can and that's entirely what we're, our job is um, no uh, well uh, look we, we, it's we, not to dick we, around you know, for, 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 good or for, for, for good or for bad in this country you know, you know where par parliament government works on the uh, on, on the basis of the uh, you know the, the number of um, of of, of con constituents is a num number of MPs is, uh, is 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 how is how it works rather than any sort of uh, looser and more anonymous um, proportional representation system which is which, which is in, we've managed to get on, lots on, and on lots and continent. lots of us to without much effort take sides against each other. No, you, 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 you missed you missed you missed my point. I'm just just saying we should use our system. Be, um, be, because you're able to generate more interest locally in a constituency, because it doesn't feel like a uh, just a general region. Well, the thing about our, our politics so, is there's rules, I'm, and those rules I'm, happen to be laws. I'm just saying so. that that there are people in those constituencies who are you are uniquely blessed with the the right information and skills to to be that politician MP for that area and actually deliver because of of, of what what they know, who they know. Etc. And they can make it work for for that for that constituency. Those people exist, but they never get selected, or very rarely. Hmm. I mean, uh, you know, you know, who 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 wants who, who wants to be an MP? You know, if you've if, if you've you know trained to be uh, you know a doctor for so so, so many years, and you're quite you've got you've got, now you've got, you've got, you've got, it, it really does persuade you that if when you're sitting and watching it, you just think, I actually could do a better job than that. Well, yeah. I, would, I don't want to. That look, sounds like a lot of stress. You've got a lot of things to deal with. It, look, there was um, Ma Michael Moore on. Um, well, you know what Michael Moore was on. Uh, Stephen Colbert, or some, something. Um, and 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 his point was was was, was like um, was, was like well, who, you know, is it someone better, better than Trump? And he's like, and he, and he said, anyone. Camera two. Um, anyone in this audience, anybody watching oh, yeah, at home, that. anybody is better at doing this job than Don than Donald Trump. He's the single worst person. You know. Anyway, let's not get into uh, to, to that. Let's wrap up. Yeah. So do feel free to uh, add comments and say what you prefer us to talk about. 
we might start coming up with like a whole bunch of um, topics to discuss and we'll try and stay on topic but we're going to also try and make sure that none of these is longer than about 10 or 15 minutes yeah so we'll try and crunch, crunch down some discussion about a topic or something that Miles has written about a topic with me interjecting which seems to work hopefully um, but we need a camera on you but yeah I mean we can sort out the studio this is this is version zero you know this is only our second take of doing this and this is this bit that we're doing now is probably just an outtake when all said and done yeah. Hopefully it's recorded. If anybody's yeah. sufficiently interested to, uh, to sit through the whole thing, thank you very much. Right. So hopefully this is recorded. And hopefully it's not just audio. Right. Is it a floor, but I'm, I'm squeaking on it? Yeah.